easy to worry about the mistakes that we make as a parent. We try so hard, right, to raise kids right. But my next guest doesn't want you to worry about every messy moment because he says one day those will be nothing more than a forgotten memory. Instead, put your parenting energy toward four specific things your kids will remember about you. Clinical psychologist Dr. Todd Corelli is here to share details. Great to see you, Todd. Good to see you. This is sort of like a heart sigh, I think, for parents out there. In your practice, mm -hmm. do you find that parents carry around this emotional weight of like, I messed up? That was a terrible argument. I didn't handle that well. Do we carry that oh, around? Yeah, we all feel guilty. We're all trying our best, but we all make mistakes. And the beautiful thing about kids is how resilient they are. We hear that, but you believe that to be true? Oh, you know, I was working with a, this is kind of a dramatic example, but a couple of years ago, I was seeing this 16 year old boy who was suicidal, addicted to drugs, severely depressed. And uh, his dad was an addict, and um, he hated his dad, and he hated his dad, and well, ends up telling dad, you need to go get help. And dad came back to me later and said, what can I do? Mm -hmm. And I said, just show up. Just, just, you know, don't miss your appointments with him. Go to his games. Try to be present in his life. And I'm not kidding you, Brooke. In two months, this kid told me he loved his dad. Mm -hmm. They were reconciling. We can make mistakes, even big mistakes. We just have to do some things sort of good and just kind of keep trying. But yeah, kids are resilient. Well, like you said, physical presence in that case, showing right. up. Made just a, being there. Yeah. Right. And it's interesting, you know, because we can all reflect on our own childhood and, and, and think of the memories, the standout moments we had with our own parents. Mm -hmm. what, what do you remember? Does anything stand out oh, to yeah. you? Oh, yeah. My parents loved each other. Oh, what a good thing to say. You know, when I was, I was the oldest, so when yeah. I was little, they weren't perfect. I remember them fighting. It wasn't anything crazy. Yeah. But I don't remember them fighting a lot as a teenager. I think they sort of, you know, worked things out or whatever, but my parents loved each other. Mm. And when they love each other, when you have parents that love each other, that gives you a security sure. that you can't get any other way. Yeah, you know you're good. You know yeah. the net underneath you is strong. Yeah. I think yeah. of parents who, d I mean, not to draw back on that previous example, but I really do think of parents who showed up for me, like at every yeah. performance or right. every big deal. They were there, they were mm -hmm. in the details, and that, that matters. That, that right. stands out to me years later. Right. You've got four things, you've identified four things that kind of land in this category that we're describing, mm. the things that matter, the things mm -hmm. children will remember. And first you say it's how you make them feel. So I think we want to make our kid, we want to be safe. We want to be a safe spot. You know, when my daughter, my oldest daughter, who's 30 now, when she was a teenager, she really had some struggles. She had a lot of social rejection, self-esteem issues. And I remember not knowing what to do to help her. And I just, I just want to be a, a space she can come talk to. And years later as an adult, she said something that was really, really impacted me. She said, you know, Dad, you never made me feel ashamed. Mm. Which was interesting because I didn't ever think of shame. Mm -hmm. But I think we want, you know, when we want our kids to talk to us. They've got so many things going on nowadays. Yeah. And we don't want to judge, criticize, lecture. We just we just want to be good listeners. Yeah, that safety goes so mm -hmm. far. I attended a, a funeral of a friend's husband recently, a dad who was taken, mm. taken too soon, and his daughter just shared beautiful sentiments. But one line that stood out to me is she mm. said, um, he always saw my strength. Yeah. Right? To have, yes. to have a dad or a parent that sees your strength yes. or that didn't make you feel ashamed, that safety Believes goes so in far. You. Believes in you. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. How you make them feel, the memories you make with them is another standout, mm -hmm. you know, focus that matters. So I'm not talking about vacations memories. I'm talking about the one-on-one -on -one memories. Mm. You know, a um, few years ago, my son, who's my last kid at home, he was getting in a little bit of trouble. He was like 13 at the time. And, and my, my wife came to me and said, you need to keep him close to you. And I remember at the time being defensive about it because I was busy. I was defensive probably because I knew she was right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I was very busy. But I remember consciously deciding to try to pull him close. And I was going to do that through golf. I think I've shared that before. That didn't work. He didn't want to golf. It wasn't his thing. It wasn't, but we did some other things. And I actually, the other day when I was thinking about what we're talking about today, I pulled all my kids. And I just said, what would you, know, what would you remember? And he, his memory was that you spent a lot of time with me. Time. And I think it's the one-on-one -on -one 
times that we spend, that's what creates the memories. Yeah, mm -hmm. I sometimes think too, you know, we often reflect on memories if they're documented or photographed and not to add pressure to parents in that right. regard, but I think we should be photographing those in-between moments too, not totally. just the Disneyland trips or the summer vacations. It's the little thing, you know, I hear a lot of parents say, well, my kid won't talk to me. Well, just go for a drive, go for a drive somewhere Sync and up. just be quiet and yeah. see what happens. Yeah. Sometimes, my son is not a big talker. If we're in a car for more than 20 minutes, I can't shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's it the just place. happens. That's, right? the, That's space the place where his mouth opens. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk a lot on this show, Todd, in relation to parenting about character. And you say a parent's character not only matters, but it matters to your child. Like they will remember that. Well, that's what they'll remember us by, right? I mean, we what we teach by who we are has much more effect than what we say to them, right? And um, I, th I think of my mother-in-law about this. When my wife was little, her mom was sick, she had chronic illness, and she was in bed for months at a time for years. And Valerie had all these little siblings who she basically had to help raise. And when you talk to her about it, there's no resentment. And why is there no resentment? And she talks about her mom, one of Susie's, her mom's, one of her character traits was this warmth. Mm. And, and she would invite you and they would have late night talks. And I got to experience some of those when I married into the family. But there was this warmth and there was this honesty and you could tell Susie anything. Mm. And it was, and, and so who we are, you know, my grandfather was this tough old cop, but he was so honest, even brutally honest. Mm. But I'll always remember his honesty, right? Yeah. So who we are, I think really matters. And you mentioned the love and care your parents had one mm -hmm. for another, and you say kids take that in. You took that in, but you say that relationship provides the safety that kids need to feel to feel. Yeah, I mean, calm. it's not always possible because some, you know, we have people that aren't married or that have divorced, and so that's difficult. But when I don't, I just don't think there's anything two parents can give that's more important than than a loving relationship with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, again, for me. And I, I've seen this with kids I work with. It, it creates a sense of security, and uh, it, it's just a wonderful gift. Yeah, if you can give it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Todd, thank you so much. I think this is, yeah. like I said, as we began this conversation, sort of that heart side for parents, yeah. I felt that. So where can we get more advice from you? So website, drtodtalks.com. I'm on YouTube at Dr. Todd Talks and Instagram. Yeah, lots of great videos on YouTube. I appreciate the messaging you. you're putting out.